Hello everyone and welcome to the FCFT. I'm David Johnson and today I'm going to be discussing just what is and how to use unlimited RT. Now take a look at the sequence below. Final Cut right now needs to be rendered and before I can get any idea of what our project will look like, pushing play in the canvas will only show an unrendered text. Now we're using what's known as safe RT or safe for real time. Final Cut wants to render the footage so that no frames are dropped upon playing. Now it's going to be the smoothest and truest real time play. However, occasionally this can and will be a very big pain when needing to make multiple adjustments on a very long track. Even my screen recorded FCFTs are supposed to be rendered after every zoom in and zoom out. However, I only need a basic idea of what it's going to look like. So let's head over to the left of our timeline and take a look at this RT button. Right now we can see it's indeed selected in safe RT. But what is unlimited? Well, unlimited RT means that the footage will play as many frames as it can. It will even play effects and transitions, but does and will drop frames when it's not quick enough. Therefore, it will never look as good as safe RT. It will also be a little more RAM dependent. Now, if we select it, we can see the top of the timeline, the video track turns from a red bar to an orange. And if we hit space in our timeline or play in the canvas, we can see a general idea of what the footage will look like. Now, after you've made your edits, it's always best to go back to safe RT and render just to verify that everything is correct. And that's it for Unlimited RT. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on the next one.